is good foundation nation super exciting review here we've got the simon line time lapse first run prototype here i had a chance to throw this a little bit for a video the other day very overstable um almost pd2-esque we'll show you in the field i haven't like tested it tested it so i'm excited to really try it on a bunch of different angles and see what it's going to do but the key notice thing to notice here is it definitely has a bit of a shoulder which is unique for mvp plastic it gives it more of a traditional driver feel very 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 comfortable disc i'm really excited about this disc i think that a lot of people are going to love it i have heard that the stock run is supposed to be slightly less stable than this so keep that in mind if you didn't get your hands on this or you just want to collect this initial first run prototype but we're gonna rip it on a few shots i'm gonna try to here first we have a bit of a tailwind nothing too crazy a little tail left to right um, I'm gonna try to throw it flat out there though so you can kind of see the initial stability and then we'll have Trevor throw it on some Anheuser, I'll throw it on some Heiser, all that fun stuff and throw it on some forehands just so you can get a really good feel of what this do disc does but really excited for this addition to the MVP lineup. Yeah, I mean, as you can tell, I got it, I mean, it's my, it's a little low, but pretty, pretty flat, especially for me. Dead straight for 70% of the flight and then a nice hard finish. That thing, you can just tell it wants to be thrown hard, wants to be thrown fast. Um, and when it comes out of your hand, you, you know it means business, you know it's going left. So I feel like it, it makes perfect sense as a Simon disc. I was watching him Heiser flip it, which makes me feel like a tiny little boy. Um, but we're going to throw it on a bunch of different angles. What I noticed the other day was it really liked being put on Anheuser. So we'll try that out in the field a bit more today. All right, I'm going to throw it. I'm going to try and throw this flat into the headwind, see what it does. I mean, definitely held straighter for a bit longer. But I mean, look at it. I'm going to skip at the end there. It's very stable, very stable. Ripped on it flat into a headwind not really an ounce of turn there strong fade at the end very overstable time for some anheuser see how long it holds for the tailwind probably not very long oh yeah it's gonna be a field goal short pretty oh close. close pretty close nice. all right i mean it's good it got a good flex out of it. that was a lot of anheuser um so that just once again kind of showing off the stability. This thing is fast. It is seriously overstable. Useful. It's not like uselessly overstable. Um, there's definitely a use for having a disc that is that overstable, but it is not for the faint of heart. All right, I think we've seen kind of all we need to see with the Simon line time lapse here, but I'm gonna rip a forehand. And by rip, I mean throw it as hard as I can. So not hard. And then we'll give you my final thoughts on it. Yeah, that went about 280 if you're keeping track at home. Um, thoughts on the time lapse? Really, really good disc. Um, very overstable. It's kind of like a PD2. It's like a PD2-esque where I think that really big arms pros will be able to get it to hold a little bit, like turn. Um, I could see it eventually being beat up. I think that the stock run, if it does end up being a little less stable than that, will be money. It'll be perfect. Probably get inch it closer to destroyer realm. I think it fits a very good slot in MVP's lineup because when I was throwing all MVP for that month challenge I did, what I found with their drivers is once you got to overstable distance drivers, you had to go to like 13, 14 speeds and most of them had like no glide. This one has enough glide that it's very usable, um, but it still has that really good overstable bite and it's not uncomfortable. I would definitely call it a 12 speed. It might push towards a 13 speed, but it doesn't feel as fast as their Octane or like a Nuke. It feels slower than that. I would say it probably feels a little wider than a Destroyer. That could just be the way it fits in your hand though. So I think it fits a really good gap for MVP. And like I said, that dome, that slight shoulder that leads to a little bit of a dome on these things increases the glide by that much more and makes it a much more usable disc. So if you're able to get your hands on this collector run, you know, probably just hang it on your wall, to be honest with you, because the stock run's coming soon. Overall, great disc, ton of fun to throw. I think Simon nailed it, hit it out of the park with this one, and with it being the Simon line, you know it's going to be extremely popular. So check it out once they drop over at foundationdisc.com. Other than that, we'll see you in the next one.